guys. Thank you for joining me. This is me transforming into my wild, crazy self that you guys normally know into my teacher transformation. So I'm going to do my hair in a cute little top knot bun. I had to moisturize it first and then I had to get something really stretchy. This is a stocking. A stocking that's been cut. And I like it because it can get my hair really tight and taut into this bun that I like when I don't want my bun to be as messy as you guys usually see me do it. So I tie it real tight to my head and I kind of just squeeze it up and I keep pulling like the front of it right there tighter and I keep squeezing it up till I got like this ponytail like hanging in the front of my head and I like it because I'm wild and crazy so yeah you know. And then I just basically twist this ponytail around the little stocking like mold that I have there. Basically I'm just trying to hide the stocking with my locks. So I just twist them around them, twist them around each other, try to get them as you know tight and in as much as I can and then I just basically have my shape there. And then because I don't want my bun to be messy I just pin the little hairs or the locks into place. Now I gotta get the back of this kitchen girl. Ooh, I hate this part of having locks. Girl, gotta get that and gotta try to get these edges in. This edge control that I'm using is Eben's 24 hour. It look nice right now, but girl, by the time I even put this makeup on them edges, it's gonna be back up. I don't know, somebody said try the one with the black top, so I'm gonna try that. But I'm tying them up, as you can see there, and now I'm gonna get the work on this face, girl. Now the crazy thing is, y'all, I'm blind as heck, so once I take off my glasses to like try to do my makeup, yeah, I can't see anything. So I'm sorry that my head is like really, really close to the camera and I'm like, y'all can't see nothing cause my big ass face. But like, I can't see, it's really hard to do my makeup or my brows that I'm doing now. And I literally can't see, so I'm like all up in the mirror. But anyway, this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil in the color dark brown. Y'all know how I do, just tracing out the shape of my brow, giving myself an arch, filling them in. I'm going to go on with the NYX Control Freak, which is basically just some eyebrow setting gel to brush up them hairs because they're really curly and all over the place and I just need to keep them in set and in place and then I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Fine and basically just trace them out. I'm gonna blend it out and then I'm gonna set my, ooh y'all, I hate doing voiceovers but here I am. Oh, I'm gonna cover my whole eyelid basically with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fine because my eyelids are dark if you haven't noticed. So yeah, I wanna lighten them up. And then once I spread the concealer all over just so you know basically it can be even skin tone with my face, I'm gonna set my eyelids with the same powder that I basically set my face in. Y'all, I done switched up from the Maybelline Fit Me. I am trying the black radiance and this color is in bronze glow and you can see it there, yes! I tried something new and I like it. I think I like it better than the Fit Me. Um, I was using the color 355. But anyway, I'm just setting those eyelids so that, you know, the concealer don't be sliding and greasy eyelids and all of that. But anyway, I gotta go ahead and take this scarf off because I don't like filming with a scarf on because it just feeds into that stereotype with black girls in your head scarf. So, I didn't want to know. Anyway. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and use a primer and this is Unicorn Essence for Sally. Y'all know the doggone drill. We do the same thing every day, every time. Also, foundation, cover girl, true blend, D50, what? Oldie, goodie, same thing. I really need to get some new makeup, but I'm trying to do better with my spending habits. Now, this beauty blender is a Sonia Kashuk. Y'all, I got an assortment, like a variety pack, and I love them. It was $16, but it's like five beauty blenders in there. I'm gonna use a different one uh, for blending out my concealer, which is still the LA Girl fine you know i ain't changed it same thing but the new beauty look at the beauty blender y'all it's so cute it's a smaller one from the one that i use to blend out like my foundation and then it's some more small ones too but yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out and then i'm gonna be setting with the laura mercy a translucent setting powder i don't know why every time i say translucent setting powder i have to do it with an accent but yeah y'all know here it go right here and i think that this everything looks so good like those beauty blenders are nice and i needed another one because my real techniques was busted y'all it had all kinds of rips and tears so the sonia cash beauty blenders are are good i like them 
I will repurchase, but I have an assortment pack and let's see how long it lasts before I be trying to repurchase. Speaking of y'all, Black Radiance, I done picked up a new uh, contour shade. This is actually Rich Mahogany. Oh, wait, actually, I'm moving too fast, y'all. <laughs> I'm setting my face with the bronze glow still. Sorry, all over my face. But then, but then, once I set that powder and it does, everything looks so good. I love it. Go Black Radiance. I did pick up a new contour shade, and it is Rich Mahogany. I was using um, mm, Ebony at first, but there's the Rich Mahogany. It's way lighter and not as darker as Ebony, and I like it. I feel like it looks better on my face, and I'm just going under with the actual bronze glow setting powder under to like cut it a little bit. Now, my nose contour was really strong, but it always is, y'all. So, I went in with the Laura Mercier on the sides of it and, like, down the, you know, the middle of it to try to help it, girl. Try to help it. And then I'm going to brush it all over, you know, with my bronze glow to try to help it some more, girl, because we just need the help. Now, I'm going to be having glasses on, but I had to put some mascara on, you know, you know, like my eyes just be looking a little alert and all of that. So, I do a little bit to the eyes, but that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to be using this B Matte Blush by LA Colors and it looks a little intimidating in the package but as you can see it's so pretty and just a flush of like pinkish orange. That is my Jackie Ina highlighter in La Peach. No, that's LeBron. Is that LeBron or La Peach? Girl, I think that's LeBron's. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to just set everything with the Morio, but that's cool. We is almost done but then I have forgot to add my Girl, that is La Peach, girl. I'm pretty sure that's La Peach. Anyway, I had to put my glasses back on to just check because y'all know I was blind and I couldn't see and I liked everything. So I decided to go ahead and use my lips or do my lips. That lip liner is Ruby Kisses uh, Perfect Precision Red Wine. And the lipstick that I'm using is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. And it is in the color All Nighter. And you guys have raved about this like in previous videos and on my Instagram. So check it out, All Nighter, CoverGirl. Let's move on to this outfit though, y'all, because I am obviously done with my face. So this is me. I think I look so teacher-like if I do say so myself. Like, y'all, I'm a teacher, guys. Like, for real, for real. <laughs> anyway, I got these little comfortable stretchy pants from Sears. My shoes are Steve Madden. And my shirt is uh, JCPenney. Yep, my shirt is, wait. Yeah, ooh, girl, I think that's H&M. Anyway, this is just a montage of me loving my outfit. Um, And I look, this is my transformation to, you know, me being a teacher and not being so, y'all know how I'm crazy. You got to look the part to act the part, but I still don't act the part. Anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.